Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to another episode of Star Lord of the Rim Wars. When we last left off, we had just been ambushed, basically. I mean, I don't really have a better word for it. We were just straight up ambushed. Uh, do we have any... Um, okay, we do have some blade dancers, some bards. We have some bad people coming for us. Okay, Toll did a, a sweet uh, grapple maneuver there. Get uh, maybe Lucy to come in here. We'll have uh, Gundalf pull up the old sword of a jig, and uh, maybe we come in here and uh, do some also stab him a jigging. Um, yeah, if you guys could maybe turn your focus on Damfin, who's trying to like come in here out of off to the side. And do we have a good cluster of bad guys? Let's give it a second here. I'm going to send Toll in to do God's work. And by God's work, I mean, uh, to unleash a whirlwind of pain and suffering on these assholes. Just like that, which apparently downed everyone in his way. I wasn't actually expecting it to be quite, quite that effective, but it was. So, you know, that's, that's a good thing. Let's have these guys move up. But I think it's safe to advance now. And we'll make sure that we're kind of out of, out of everyone's way. Though Toll is now, he's a bit, uh, like, isolated. Okay, maybe, uh, maybe don't do that. Oh, I should have waited a second more, because that whirlwind probably could have hit a whole bunch of additional bad guys. Uh, if you don't mind actually participating in the fight here, that would be great. Uh, Lumini, you can get in there. You can come in after these guys. You guys can, like, continue swinging around to the side. Oh, and we won. Well, when the force is on your side, life can be, uh, not terrible. All right, yeah, you better run. Okay, well, that worked out nicely. Uh, let's, uh, just kind of watch, yeah, watch the fireworks here. Oh, yeah, I forgot Toll's, like, some kind of psychopath or something, isn't he? Because he's apparently, he enjoys all the killing. Good for you, Toll. Good, good for you. Jolly good. All right, so that actually went much better than I was expecting. I mean, the whirlwind alone, I mean, dang, that's some overpowered stuff. Though it is cool that the AI actually like knows how to, to use those abilities as well. All right, so yeah, we actually did it without anyone taking any damage. A double bonus and a bunch of injured guys and some more stuff here, so I will clean up after this, figure out what I want to take with us, and I will see you by the by. Anyway, meanwhile, back here at uh, Bog End, it occurs to me, I kind of forgot, I don't really know how I forgot, but I forgot that last time around, we actually did pick up, um, yeah, this high-tech research bench, and there was something else that we got alongside it. What is it? Um, there's like a regular fabrication table, isn't there? Gem crafting, advanced fabrication, dude. Uh, hmm. I thought there was. Unless there is, and I'm just not seeing it, which is also entirely possible. But let, let's uh, take a look at that. Fabrication. Oh. That. Fabrication. Ah, here we go. All right, so... Okay, I see. Well, um, what do I need? I need the multi-analyzer, which requires the high-tech bench. Okay, all right. Okay, so we're actually a ways away from being able to make lightsabers. Which is a tad bit unfortunate, but, you know, life goes on. Um, you know, I was still working on these with the assumption that Gundalf would be doing it, so... It's also kind of weird. I don't have this research, but I can make the sculptures, so... I'm not entirely sure what's up with that. Alright. Let, let's forget about that. Um... Yeah. Actually, I suppose I might as well get rid of these regular... 
simple benches as well. And what did I use all my steel on anyway? Oh, shit. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, safe. Everyone else into the barn, please. Into the barn. All right, we'll figure this out by the by. Restrict everyone else to go to the safe zone. Drop what you're doing. Just get inside. For the love of God, get inside. All right. We've got star vampires incoming. Sorry if that's a spoiler for anyone who is uh, not familiar with the existence of star vampires. But star vampires are a thing, and um, I can't help but imagine at this stage of the game there's probably going to be like a hundred billion of them. So, yeah. Do we have any visitors, any guests who might uh, tank some of the... No? Okay, well, that's... Um, that's a thing. All right, so how do I want to do this? I wonder... Oh, God, that scares me every time. All right, so whatever it is, it is coming. Oh, God, these guys are not in the barn yet. And why are you walking over the water instead of the river? Dang gummit. Also, apparently, um, this larva has nuzzled up against Ryan, so that's a thing. Got a lot of hay lying around. That's not a bad thing, to be honest with you. In fact, it's, it's actually quite a good thing. God, this is going to take forever. Okay. No star vampires so far. But I know they're out there. Actually, I wonder. Can I cheese it with... Aha! Okay, I can cheese it with Dub's uh, mint menus here. So apparently... Or is it actually visible? No, nope, it's actually completely invisible, so... I am, in fact, uh... Okay, so it's it's just straight up attacking. So I guess because we... Well, no, let, let's, uh... Let's not mince words about it. We're basically cheesing the game. Why are you in serious pain? What What's going on, dog? Oh, right. All right, gather everyone up. Let's, uh... Why are they always attacking my poor murder holes? What did the murder holes ever do to you? I'm gonna just uh, write this off as like um, Pastor, our Lord and Savior. You guys, like. Just shoot in this general direction. Oh, oh. We can. We technically are aware it's there. Technically, sort of. Alright, everyone attack in this general direction. Um. Maybe, maybe don't get like right up in its grills. Is it, is it, is it dying at all? Is anything happening? Goodness knows, I don't know. And Balin has got a sickness from an infection. Oh yeah, because I took Balin. Because, I forget why, he had good stats of some sort. That I thought were worth uh, taking. Alright. Maybe I have to get up and, like, punch this thing. Oh, cat can't get through. Of course not. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can actually have Ben focus on repairing this perpetually. Uh, Ben. Oh. Right. Uh, unrestrict everyone. Ben, if you could, uh, focus on repairing this. Probably not gonna happen in time. Don't repair it on that side, you idiot. Oh, lordy. All right. That's, it's just not going to happen. There we go. Okay. And there goes my murder hole. Well, that was easy. Huh. And it was just the one. Just the one star vampire. Yeah, he he's, uh... His brain is gone. So, yeah. Good for you. Goodbye, Mr. Star Vampire. Or not. Uh, what else do we need? We need, we need steel. We also need iron, but mostly steel. So, let's, uh, go to floors. We gotta deconstruct all of this, but let's focus on, um, deconstructing the simple stuff first. Where we can. Though, 
deconstruction is low on the pecking order, so I'm not expecting to get any work done immediately. This is all, yeah, it's all steel. Good. Jolly good. And maybe we'll get some more compact machinery while we're, while we're here. And deconstruct this, because there's still a lot of us here. All right, now to go to the, uh, the arduous task of setting everyone to the appropriate settings. All right, let's see here. Cophonian larva, Cophonian larva, Cophonian larva. Um, one of them is now, yeah, he's just named larva because our colonists are so, they're so creative and all. The larva, it, it nestled Ryan. And like, uh, yeah. And then they bonded together. And he's like, you know what your name is? You're Larva. Because that's what you look like. Or I assume that was what was going through Ryan's head. Maybe he, maybe he was thinking something else. I don't really know. All I know for sure that I'm kind of scared about encountering this village here. Because I mean, we got attacked on the road by 30 some dwarven bandits and we won that time. Mostly by luck, I presume. But, um... Yeah. Pretty some dwarven bandits, and however many escaped, we killed, like, a dozen or so. And life, uh... Life was pretty good, all things considered. And they had a lot of food on them. Which is actually very, very handy. I want to destroy this, uh, bandit outpost as well. But, uh, you know, we'll see. But we definitely want to get rid of the terrorist bush, because no one likes terrorist bushes. Probably. I know I don't. And meanwhile... Oh yeah, good. James is in fact working on his animal statue, made of slate. Jolly good. Because we want them to all be at approximately the same color. I like this. Though I kind of wish there was like um, a statue like this, except... Hello? Oh right, there's Velociraptors. Weren't we talking about maybe trying to tame them? That would not be a bad idea. But maybe it would be. Wow, a 14 year old and a 4 year old Velociraptor. That's a pretty big age difference. And we've also got another Velociraptor over there. So yeah, lots of Velociraptors. Is uh, the moral... I am deriving from all this. All right, so anyway, we need... We need more steel. Because I think I'm going to replace both the simple workbenches with high-tech workbenches. And... Oh yeah, that reminds me of another thing. We now can build the uh, communication or the comms console. Of course, we need more steel. We need lots more steel. Is there any steel closer? I feel like they're... Oh, there's silver ore over here. Oh yeah, there's lots of steel over here. You know what? I should be focusing on getting this steel, not the, uh... Not the ever steel. I mean, this is good steel as well. I mean, it's all good steel. Blech. Good steel, that's the word I'm trying to say. But yeah, maybe, uh... Let's harvest stuff closer to where we live and work. Just because that way we don't have to do quite as much, uh, running around. Oh, and we have some visitors. Jolly good. Hello there, friends. From the Orange Kin League. What are you? A fire wizard? Oh yeah, look at that. I called it. Totally called it. Alright, got a lot of cool guys here. Blow the sk there's just something about that name that just it just it just gets me every single time. Blow the skin. It just just seems weird to me, man. That's all. And also, it sounds vaguely sexual for some reason. But then again, that probably says more about me than it does about Blow the Skin. So, yeah. Yeah. Think about that one, Gaslight. Anyway. Aside from that... Alright, so we're almost here. It's gonna take us 0.2 days. Definitely gonna get some good fight-a-majigging in there. And... 
things, yeah, things actually continue to to pause. Can I can I pause? The game is paused. What am I worried about? Um, let's see. Don't really need more medicine. Could s sell some leaf. I don't know if I want to use poison. Buffalo Komodo saliva. You know, let, let's sell some. Some, uh, excuse me, sir. There we go. Sell 60 of these because why not? Or actually, they don't really have any money, so maybe I shouldn't. Let's just try to sell some of these clothes and I will skip ahead and see you shortly. Okay, so as we wait for this map to generate, we've finally arrived at the terrorist bush. And just as we were loading in, it appears that a velociraptor is now hunting one of our Cophonians for food. That's a bad play there, raptor boy. Though our young Cophonians aren't quite at full strength. Again, as I've as I've said before, could you imagine? Uh, where is Velociraptor number four? You are you hunting my guy for food? I I don't really know which one is doing what. So perhaps the safe thing is to just kill all the Velociraptors on the map. Yeah, could really go either way, I guess. As we again wait for uh, things to load, as it sometimes takes a while there. Anyway, I guess this is uh, more evidence for why perhaps I should have focused on maybe trying to tame these Velociraptors. But, you know, you know how it is. I, I get distracted, I want to do one thing. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the one that's coming after my boys. Probably. There's a Velociraptor. And where is Cophonian number four? I guess that's the ever question. You Cophonian number four? You are Cophonian number four. So yeah, it's definitely this guy. Brian's got a gun. Isaac does not have a gun. Uh, you... James has a gun, so let's, uh... I mean, it's just a Velociraptor. Okay, good job. Oh, this is gonna... This is going to turn south very fast, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, James, how are you doing? He's okay. This guy's tail's been shot off. And James is just pistol whipping it. Oh, oh god. What am I doing? We also have like a, a whole invasion thing going on over here. Got some reeks over here. And... Okay, so these guys actually have guns. Oh, that's odd. I didn't realize that uh, these guys could spawn murder holes. But that's cool, though. I do like that. Um, I wonder if I send if I send Gundalf in solo, do you think he could actually take them? You know, because he's got his like super Jedi moves. Actually, I really like this map. Like, I think in addition to making this our work camp, I think I might actually just, like, settle here. I mean, this is actually really nice. I might, like, settle, like, right in here or something. Or we could, like, dig into the mountains or something. Get some dwarven, uh... Yeah. Yeah, this could actually be really, really sexy. I mean, just look at all these, like, nice choke points. Choke point here, choke point there. Kind of open here, but, you know, we can do stuff about that. Choke point here. River choke point. I mean, this is this is just beautiful. All right, that's that's good. I like that. This also might be a slightly long episode because I'm probably gonna try to at least finish the um, the fighting while we're here. I mean, and I could probably send Toll in as well. Have him do his whirlwind of death maneuver. And I think what I'll do is I'll set everyone up here and. Yeah, I'll set everyone up here, and I'll have, like, Gundalf maybe try to... Hmm. This is gonna be interesting, because the big... The big challenge here isn't the, um... It's not the... Like, these guys, I don't think. It's gonna be dealing with, uh, the turrets. 
Though I think if I wait until nightfall, might be possible to relatively easily, um, like just like wait until nightfall when the power runs out. Because I'm assuming the batteries are in here. Maybe there's batteries in here as well. But yeah, it's like a different line. So all I need to do is like sneak in, find the batteries. I mean, I'll probably have to like mine through here. But yeah, we can we can totally do this. It'll be simple. All right, so Gundalf, you get in there. And again, you know, everyone else kind of moves in. Oh, how is how is that? Uh, oh, you guys are done. Good job. Well, well played. If you don't mind, Ryan, could you uh, haul that Velociraptor corpse? That is good and jolly. And yeah, I'm going to get Gundalf to just punch his way through here. Because again, this is the strategy. We... We, uh, we want... Alright, our, our stabby boys we're going to want to be careful about here. Yeah, all our gun boys, they're going to, you know, do their... Gun. Okay, so they know I'm here now. All right, that uh, that changes the strategy just a little bit. Well, maybe I want you over here. Like, how are they coming at me exactly? God, you guys are taking forever to get down here. Toll. Um, yeah, you guys all over there. Yeah, we should be able to. Actually, if we get in here, that will provide us. Oh. Okay, that that was that definitely worked out nicely. Okay, yeah. I, I'm I'm kind of confident this is gonna play out the way I would like it to, but at the same time I am also thinking that there is a, a greater than zero, and probably considerably greater than zero chance that this is all gonna go like hideously wrong on me very quickly. So time will tell. Yeah, this is gonna go hideously terrible very quickly. But again, Gundelf uh I mean, if he can punch his way in here... Okay, that's not gonna happen. Alright, so we need force defenses. Again, I, I think Gundalf is the key to this. Alright, Gundalf, uh, get over here. And, yeah, attack Bowman before he has a chance to fire anything. Okay, you're gonna grapple someone. My, my big fear is that these guys are going to, like, shoot and it's going to ricochet off of Gundalf and hit them back. Because <laughs> that would suck as well. But there's only... only... No, I don't really want you to attack that. I, I was sort of hoping... Actually, if these guys all bunch up, Toll might be able to perform his whirlwind and hit everyone all at once. Let's um, try to move Gundalf. Like, I get him down just a square. That would be great. Okay, so, yeah, if Toll can, uh, okay, Toll is, he's trying to whirlwind his way down there, as best he, as best he knows how, and Gundalf has taken very little damage so far, uh, these two can come in and get this in here, alright, Toll is moving in, wait, when did you get this beard axe, I thought you had a, uh, Okay, that kind of worked, but now he's in the line of fire for getting shot in the face, so. Alright, Toll, get out, get out, Toll, run. Okay, the pirates are fleeing. Okay, Toll, run. Oh, okay, that's triggered because of that. Um, Gundalf, if you can get in here, maybe help Toll out. Yeah, this is not gonna end well. Oh god, Erlen's on fire. So, oh right, someone shot fire and death. Though, the plus side is we got a lot of drugs and useful material out of this. So, overall, life is good. Life is actually very good. Uh, yeah, maybe attack Anon instead. I, I need Tool... I need Tool to get out of here. Okay, Irulan, if you could, like, not be on fire and get out of the way, that would be great. I think someone's shooting uh, lightning at me as well. That's also mildly concerning. And I don't think any anyone we have here... Actually, 
I might be able to outrange them. All right. Let's get these guys to, like, stand... Stand by these rocks. And again, if we can get Toll out of here, that would be great. I mean, Toll, he's taken some damage. Gundalf has taken a bit of damage. Uh, maybe heal Toll if you can. Alright, I'm just going to have to get Toll to go in swinging. Because clearly, these, these idiots... Okay, there we go. Toll, get the hell out of the way. Irulan, get the hell out of the way. Well, actually, I guess if we just take out the solar panel, that also works for our purposes. Or porpoises as well. But, uh, no one ever talks about the porpoises. And they probably shouldn't. The important... Can... Oh, you can still see us. Yeah, you should probably move out of the way then. Okay. Alright, that actually... Worked out okay. Not bad. Uh, yeah, forbid this, because that way we can actually do our research. And I guess the only thing to do now is to keep trying to take this out, or the solar panels and then the batteries and so forth, so that we can actually get some action go- Actually, there's the batteries right there. So, yeah. We're gonna have some issues here, but I think at the end of the day, everything's gonna be alright. But until then though, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking and I will see all you in the next video.